the Dark Master, back again for another Lego Ninjago review. This time it is set number 30425. The Ninjago Dummy Trainings Polybag. With 43 pieces, two minifigures, and a training dummy. Let us begin. Sorry, it's a little ripped here. First minifigure down, and it's Nia. Second minifigure down, and it's Zane. Here's the instruction booklet, of course. Handrails. I don't know why you need handrails for a training place. It's pretty cool looking. And here it is. Here's the entire training dummy polybag. So, you know, let's take a quick look at the minifigures, and then we'll go on to the main build. So here are the two minifigures, Zane and Nia. Now, they are pretty basic, but considering that this is a polybag with two minifigures, I think that can be accepted. See, they don't come with their ninja garb, just their hair, nor do they come with any armor. But that's really to be expected. They wanted to keep this thing cheap so they could make some money. She, Nia comes with a silver katana, and Zane comes with a bow staff. I really like his silver hair. I think they're kind of overdoing the silver, honestly, but see, having bought the Sons of Garmadon sets, they've kind of rectified that problem, which I'll be reviewing very soon. But now let's get into the training dummy. So here is the training dummy. Now obviously this is meant to be Master Wu. It can spin around. Of course it tends to get caught on this rail here. But um, yeah, I really, I really like how it's built. It's built not the way you'd expect. It has a golden minifigure head and a hat and a beard, which is obviously the same piece as that is used on Master Wu. And you know, for a little polybag, it's really built up. It has this kind of rail, wa rail walker, like rail thing, you know. And yeah, it uses these microphone pieces and these red skeleton legs. So, you know, like a lot of recolors that are pretty nice if you want to make like a red skeleton thing. The set does come with a few extra pieces. These are the pieces it comes with. They're not much, but I figure I should just point them out anyway because I don't always do that. So what do I think of this poly bag? I think it's a very good poly bag. It's very big. You get your money's worth from it. And then, yeah, so... This is about it, guys. This has been the Dark Master, and if you like Lego reviews, then come on, check my channel, and subscribe. Have a nice day, my friends.